Cranky here. Uh, wanted to do this uh, video. I was going to um, do a coffee chat, but I'm really not in the mood for a cup of coffee. I already had an afternoon cup, and I really don't drink that much coffee in the evening. Um, but anyway, uh, there was a couple videos I had, you know, I made. Um, but never got uploaded um, that were unboxings so I just want to acknowledge those um, since they didn't get a video up but uh, these are all SOCOM bullets that were sent to me by Loads of Bacon so Bacon thank you very much um, this was the NOE 459 uh, 500 FN it's a hollow point and this was the NOE 459 354 FN, it's also hollow point, and then this was the 459-500 SP, um, that big boy. So, I'm going to thank him for that. I still need to uh, get the cast bulls loaded up for 458 so far. Um, I've, I loaded and shot some of the uh, 325 grain FTX, um, you know, uh, jacketed bullets that I bought. Um, I'll throw in a clip at the end of my son and my wife shooting, it's real short, but um, of them shooting the 458. Uh, I think we did Christmas morning. Um, also, MCK sent me two bags of 9mm brass along with leftover um, or recycled Uncle Jim glitter. He's trying to glitter bomb me. Uh, thank you, MCK. Um, I don't know if anyone else. Uh, that has a PC carbine, um, notice it or not, but it seems to be pretty rough on the brass. I've seen some pretty gnarly pieces of uh, brass. Um, so having a lot more 9mm is gonna be good because I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get the life out of it um, using that PC carbine that I do with my SIG. Uh, so uh, everyone knows you know, about the Uncle Jim uh, visit. That was fantastic. Um, I did not record a ton of video. I don't. Um, I didn't bring a bunch of cameras. All I brought was my phone, which I don't know if it's just because it's old, it was cold, or you know my carrier wasn't nearby or something. But you know the battery on it was like dead constantly. It was, so it was plugged in a lot of the time. Um, and what video I did take, I was mainly just sent back to the wife and son. So I'm really not going to post a shooting video or anything because you've seen. All the video I have anyway is the same stuff that everyone else has been posting. So, but I do want to thank Uncle Jim. That was fantastic, and um, Ozark's cooking was fantastic. I, you know, tried to steal some of his recipes there, and uh, you know, when I got back, made the apple pie. Had to try that, and we made the uh, stuffed mushrooms. Um, they turned out awesome. My wife really loved those. So. When I was there, also, um, Pat left behind uh, a jug of, um, you know, 458 SOCOM bullets. Uh, and he's like, ah, oh, Cranky shoots them, you know, and whatever. So I, there's no way I could put them in my bag. I was like, uh, it's going to put me over the 50 pound limit, um, you know, for my check bag. So I asked, um, uh, Meg and Uncle Jim to um, flat rate ship me. And of course, when they did, Uncle Jim had to go and stuff. I have not opened this yet, um, but I, I'm pretty sure what he put in here is some sort of 38 bullets, maybe, that I haven't tried. He also sent a ducky, a cat ducky. Uh -huh. There is a note. And from Mig. Oh, it's a that's a one. He sent one wide cutter. That's funny, Mig. <laughs> one. Uh, this is the best I can find in a rush. These are 357 for your lever. See if any feed and shoot. These are, this is 18 BHN. I'm not sure what model they are though. It's like a 
Keith style with a bevel base on them. Definitely haven't tried anything like that in it. We'll have to see. Ah, uh, these are tacos. Everyone's familiar with the taco. Definitely haven't tried those. I know they work in George Boy's Rossi, but I don't know about the Winchester. We'll have to try. I think he's able to seek things a little further than I can uh, in the Winchester. The fat bottom girls. Uh -huh. The bag's really not open. Uh, well, alright, that bag's just getting. We'll just tear it. Alright, um. Yeah, fat bottom girls. And. Well, these are. Looks like. It says these are also 18 VHN. I'm not sure what they are, but or what mold or what company. They look high-tech coated along with the other one, I think, anyway. I don't remember Uncle Jim ever doing any gold powder coating. And these are... These are the Lyman, and he says they are long. Lyman 358-429. It's a nice looking bullet though, but we'll have to see. I mean, even the uh, the Arsenal bullet, you know, the cranky bullet, um, I can't seat that on the crimp groove uh, for 357. You know, for 38 it's fine, um, but for 357 I can't. So, anyway, one of the things when I was at the. Oh, man. Alright, so. <laughs> uh, when I was out there, you know, I was um, next to Ozark. When um, when he bought his uh, Rossi uh, 92 in 38357 um, at Gunny's, and I got to shoot it, and it was the most comfortable gun I shot all weekend because I'm used to lever guns. And I felt comfortable with it. Um, I didn't have to worry about figuring out how to load it or anything like that. Uh, and I really liked it. It, it was smooth. Um, so it you know didn't scare me off from from Rossi. Um, and then I got to shoot Uncle Jim's, uh, you know, JM stamped Marlin in 44 Mag, and I really wanted a Marlin, or I really wanted a 44 Mag. Um, so, you know, who better to ask than Georgia Boy 44? And uh, he said the the action on the 92 is better, um, and I figured it would be easier to find a new Rossi um, in 44 than it would be to find a good condition, you know. JM stamps Marlin, so it finally showed up. It's what I ordered. It's a Rossi 44 Magnum, 20 inch stainless steel. It's got you know George Roy warned me it was going to come Cosmoline and stuff, and there's some crap on it that I need to get cleaned. Um, but I like it. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but it's beautiful and it's. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Uh, so that's the latest toy. Um, st I still have, you know, dyes and brass and stuff is, you know, that should be here tomorrow. Half my uh, midway order came today, like a bunch of powders to try. I think I picked up like some 2400 and some number 9, uh, more H110. Um, so I got powders, primers. And that today, all the hazmat fee stuff, and I guess the, the dyes and brass and all that stuff is coming tomorrow. Um. <laughs> so, when I got home and told Uncle Jim that I bought, because literally I ordered this the night that I came out, I got back to the airport like 2 in the morning on Tuesday, and by Tuesday night I went up to uh, Gun Genie or whatever and ordered this. So, Uncle Jim had just sent out the 38 bullets, um, like that day. Uh, and here I went and told him I, you know, bought a 44. So, he was like, I'm going to cast you up some, you know, cranky bullets. Um, so, 
I just cut this open before. I haven't looked in here yet, but um, Tin Man. I don't know if you can read that, but he sent me glitter to say use on Tin Man or question mark. Okay. So, need to mail something Tin Man. All right, cranking undersized or checked for weight, ass cast. Uh, the crank Keith is about one, or it's about 15 BHN, but left you a sample to test. Enjoy your new Rossi Uncle Jim. Let's see what's in here. This is a, oh, a sample. This is the sample. Oh, bullet. Um, they sent it's already cut in half nice. So I can test it. Uh, these are the RCBS 44 250 knot sized. This is great. I already got bullets. I mean, I bought a mold. I don't have it here with me. Um, I bought a um, an MP mold that arrived um, on Monday, uh, but I haven't cast with it yet. So this is good. Getting bullets that I can start loading as soon as my dies show up tomorrow. And brass. I mean, I may have a couple cases of 44 from like you know range brass, but I'm not sure. I have to go look, but I did order. No one sent me brass. I do have like 500 Starline coming. Oh, you know, I'm good on brass. Ah, so these are the ones from the Cranky Mold. Nice. Big bag. It's heavy as hell. Alright, so, you know what? If I like this one, I may end up getting this mold myself too. Um, That's a nice looking bullet. This is basically what we shot in his um, his Marlin on the, the last morning we were there. We loaded up 50 of those um, the night before. Uh, and I don't think all 50 were this bullet. Um, but the ones we shot in the morning, they were. Oh, what else? Was I, oh, I wanted to just... Um, when, when I assembled my ARs, I you know I never owned any ARs before I, this fall when I got the three of them. Um, I, so I needed to start off with tools for ARs. I didn't have any tools, you know, for specific. So one thing I did get um, was I saw this online, and we were talking about it in Uncle Jim's reloading room one evening. Um, and this was the Magpul Bev, Bev block. So instead of getting like multiple tools. For the vise, this one it does you know your lower, put it in this way, and goes in the magazine well and holds the lower, and you put it in this way, and you know it's got your for your takedown uh, uh, pin right. You can put that in through there, and this locks into your barrel, and then you take your bolt carrier and you take the bolt out, and so you know without the bolt, and you put the bolt carrier back in. And it locks down on this end, and then your whole upper is locked into the vise, and you can then just you know, you know, crank the barrel nut down with your, um, you know, your so whatever foot pounds you're supposed to crank them down to. Um, but that worked great. Um, but you know, I know Uncle Jim had one, but I think his was only just like an older version that was just this part. It didn't have the part for the upper um, built in, so it was just one tool. Uh, they could do both. So, I just wanted to show that. Um, and I guess that's just about it. You know, I didn't want to make this too long, but I did want to acknowledge the people that have been sending me stuff. Um, I appreciate it all. You know, um, I'm going to have to bring my press upstairs, put it in this um, up here. And I don't like doing it because then it's like uh, in a few months I got to cart everything back downstairs. Cause, but uh, in order to get any reloading done, um, you know, it's that time of year where I gotta move stuff up in here because the garage just gets too, too damn cold and I don't want to go out there and load and I got a lot of stuff to now have to load. So, anyway, um, 
thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. That was in between, that was low. Unless you want to call it high. That hit. Oh, yeah, right. oh wow. Okay. I see you where I'm aiming. There's another one in there. Okay.